Hello again, everyone. Welcome to a new Let's Play of Space Quest Chapter 1, The Sarian Encounter, by two guys from Andromeda, copyright 1987, Sierra Online Incorporated, version 2.2. Ooh, spiffy, it's 2.2, everyone. That means it's better. This is the EGA version, which I am more familiar with uh, than the EVGA one, I should clarify. Um... I tended to have a lot of the King's Quest games, whereas a friend of mine had the Space Quest games and some of the others. So, I never actually finished this as a kid. Light years from Earth's solar system, the people of the galaxy, Aranon, have been struggling to maintain the precious balance of life. The son of Aranon is dying, is slowly dying. I don't think it works that way. Son of a galaxy? The planets grow cold. Food is no longer plentiful. Life will soon become impossible to sustain. The scientific community of Xenon devised a plan to convert one of Irnon's lifeless planets into a new sun. The effort was centered around the development of a device called the Solar Generator. The Star... Ge uh, the Star Generator, I'm sorry. The Star Generator would be capable of igniting an otherwise useless planet into a raging ball of flame. An expedition set out aboard the Starship Arcada to successfully complete development and testing of the Star Generator. The Arcada is now returning triumphantly to Xenon with the fully operational Star Generator. You serve as a member of the crew of the Arcada as a janitor. That's right, a janitor. And not a very good one. You would probably have been sacked and replaced were the Arcada not millions of kilometers from Xenon. As we join our story, you have just completed one of your famous on-shift naps in one of the janitorial storage closets. Well, I gotta get my 14 hours. If I don't get my 14 hours, I am just not a, you know, just not a human. Ah. Listen to that beautiful PC speaker. Mmm. PC speaker, what could be better? Alright, welcome aboard, Arcada. To log on as a crew member, please enter your name below. Up to 18 characters. Alright, well, let's uh, just go with Ald. Um, at this point, uh, the hero was not named, but uh, he will be later. I have slightly reddish eyes. You're startled by the sound of an alarm. It is followed by an urgent voice which warns that the Arcada has been boarded by unknown intruders. It ends abruptly. All right, well, first thing that we want to do is save it. This is one of the many hallways in the Arcada. Okay. Uh, let's also bump up the speed a bit. Well, uh, it's a red alert. I don't think I did anything. Look, room. This is the Arcada's data archive. Many volumes of information are stored on data cartridges. There is a computer console here. Well, I'm not allowed to use those computers. I don't know what the heck is going on here. Can't see anything around. What? Frank? Frank, what, what happened to you? All right, fine, look, body. It appears to be one of your crewmates. He is non-functional. Oh, God, Frank, what happened to you? Uh... I, I hope you have the 20 bucks on you that I lent you last week. You search the body of your crewmate and find... A keycard! Well, poop, that's not the 20 bucks I lent him. You take the keycard. The keycard is a flat rectangular piece of synthetic material which is magnetically keyed for passing check stations. Written in tiny letters are the words Beak and Hinder Security Systems. It's probably a pun to a uh, security company from the 80s that I am not familiar with. I don't know what the heck we, can, we should do now. The door opens and a man you recognize as one of the lab scientists enters. He appears to be injured. Joe! After only a few steps, he slumps to the floor. No! Joe! 
A large laser hole has been burned in his uniform, through which you can see previously unexposed tissue. Struggling painfully, he raises up on one elbow. He tells you the Arcada is under attack, and that the Star Generator is in danger. You had better leave if you value your life. Alright, I can get behind that. He looks over toward the shelves full of cartridges and utters the words, Astral Body! He then settles to the floor, lifeless. Oh, no, Joe. What happened to you? Uh, you wouldn't have to have any cash on you, do you? You search the damaged body's pocket. Your, your search of the damaged body's pocket's nets. Only some heat-fused chunks of variously sized, uh, varying sizes, which were probably melted by a pulsy, pulse ray blast. Nothing to waste time on. Well, okay, you didn't have any money. Welcome to the Arcada Data Archive, Model DX Storage and Retrieval System. To select a cartridge, enter the title below. Press Enter to quit. Title catalog available, top security clearance only. Astral Body. Searching, title found, retrieving. There you go. Beedy beedy beedy. What's up, Buck? Take cartridge. Done. Look, cartridge. This is a data storage cartridge. On it are the words "Astral Body Formation: The Untold Story." Ooh, it's a zip drive. Um, look. Screen. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have any, uh, charbroiled hamburger sandwiches and french fried potatoes? Nope. I was misspelling hamburger anyway. Uh, not enough characters. Well, what about my paycheck? Uh, I would like to get my paycheck before I get off this, uh, tub. Searching. Title not available. Damn it! Fine, I'll just leave. All right, well, let's uh, save it real fast. Maybe I'll take a quick nap first. You've just stumbled into a small, dark, and very cluttered utility closet. Many things fall, most of them landing on you. Doesn't say much for your cleaning prowess. Well, at least we're not seeing any, uh, any of the intruders. Well, let's see. Who are they? What do the intruders look like? Doo -doo -doo. I think I hear footsteps, but apparently I don't. So, guys, how's it going? I'm just gonna walk in place here. Do, 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 do. These guys are taking a really long time to get to me. Hmm. Game, you know, it's kind of hard to show off a uh, death when you, like, you know, don't actually bring them to me. Alright. Oops. There we go. Oh no, Dan and Dean! Ah. How are we going to play our weekly Metamorphosis Alpha game? Damn it. Look, Ropom? Look, Room. This is the Star Generator Development Laboratory. Due to your incredibly low security clearance, you have never been allowed access to this room. Uh, search body? The reward for your search is... Nothing! Oh, that's rude. What about you? The reward for your search is... Nothing! Is there anything off this way? Nope. Well, shucks. Eh, there's not much interesting here, anyway. Tis a silly place. 
I think you hear, hear footsteps. Oh! Oh! The alien observes his handiwork briefly, then leaves. As you lie on the floor in a smoldering carbo gelatinous heap, you can't help but wonder why you bothered getting up this morning. That's fair. None of this would have happened if I hadn't woken up. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably and doomed all your people to a horrible death at the hands of the Sarians. If you continue to play as skillfully as this, we'll never have a chance for a sequel. Better luck next time. Also, I want to point out that they're double spacing after the peri uh, periods, and that is not good typography. Oh, <laughs> Dodged a bullet that time. Hmm. I don't know you. Do you have anything on you? You search the damaged body of your fellow crewman. You get too close a glimpse of the injury. In the pockets you find, nothing. Aww. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, this is bad. Can I hide? Well, maybe if I just get off the screen. Yep, I'm okay. Nope. Damn it! All right, fine. Let's go this way. Where I was hearing the footsteps from, I don't know. But hopefully that has cleared everything. This is one of the mid-level decks of the Arcada, and I just got shot again. Miss me. Hopefully I will be okay. Alright, well let's uh, do the things that we need to do here. Look. Console. On the console by the window are two buttons marked Open Bay Door and Close Bay Door. Press Open Bay Door. Well, that's handy. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I can't do that, Dave. I think you hear footsteps. Well, that was quick. The alien observes his handiwork briefly, then leaves. You know... As you slip away, the alien decides that one of his comrades will take care of you. And that may be the case. Uh, I was doing some audio testing, and I just could not get them to kill me. And now it is like they're killing me all the time. Press open bay door. Look, room. You are in the central control area of the Arcada. The reactor domes pulsate irregularly, as if they had been tampered with. This does not look good. Through the window just above the control window uh, console, you can see down into the vehicle bay below. I believe the ship will explode if you're on here too long. I don't know exactly what the timer is for that, and I'm not going to just sit around and, and, like, wait for it. So that is probably a death that we're not going to see. Please don't let me hear footsteps. Alas, it does not open. You have adorned the door with a small circle of nose grease. Were you Carl Malden, it would have gotten ugly. I had no idea that the people of Irnon uh, knew about the streets of San Francisco. Uh, look. Console. The keycard unit is a small sturdy box with a slot. Just above it is a display light, which is not currently on. 
Uh, Carl Malden, for those wondering uh, and unfamiliar with him, is well known for his rather protuberous proboscis, shall we say. You would probably recognize him if you saw a picture. You slide the keycard into its slot. You hear an audible click. You take the keycard back. Keycard unit is a small sturdy box with a slot. Just above it is a display light which is currently on. And down we go. This is the flight prep room of the Arcada. As you can see, there is a sign on the back wall as well as two closet doors and two buttons. Warning, bay doors are open. Uh, press... Oh, let's say, look wall. The walls look pretty much the same as the others. There's a sign on the back wall. Beneath that is a right button and a left button. Press left button. Look closet. It looks like an electri electrical gadget of some sort. Uh, take gadget. Oh, I'm taking a small mouse. Look gadget. Written on the electronic gadget are the words dialect translator. On one end is a dial and a light, currently dim. Spiffy. Press right button. Look closet. You see a flight suit hanging in the closet. Look suit. This is a standard issue flight suit designed to protect the wearer from the unique conditions of space travel. Well, really, who would need something like that? That's just silly. Everyone knows that space isn't space is filled with air. Look console. The console is adorned with many status indicators. One button on the right is marked airlock. Press airlock button. Alright, well let's get the heck out of here. I'm sure my janitorial suit will serve me just fine. Oops! Forgot my suit! That concludes your experiment involving the effects of total vacuum on the human body, all. Oh, well, let me make a note of those results. Alright, fine, we'll wear the suit. Get suit. Look, closet. Your old uniform hangs in the closet. It does not look like the uh, flight suit has a full, uh, full face uh, visor. Press airlock button. All right. Well, let's get off this garbage scow. Look, room. This is the cavernous vehicle bay. I wonder what the heck this is here. Whee! Well, all that was a smooth half gainer into a, into the elevator shaft. Did you decide that you would think more clearly with your brains reorganized? Maybe. All right. Well, all right. So we don't we don't want to go that way. Well, let's uh, let's go this way then. Congratulations, all! You have found your way off the Arcada and escaped obvious danger. Unfortunately, you will never be seen or heard from again as you float gracefully through the heavens for eternity. And, of course, the beautiful Blue Danube plays over and over again in your head. Alright, fine. Uh, look. Console. Looking at the console, you see a button marked platform. There are also some gauges, which you don't which don't interest you. Um press push the button, Frank. There's now an escape pod here. This is one of the Arcada's escape pods. You vaguely remember receiving some orientation on these when you joined the crew.
Get in pod. Well, sweet. Not to be more specific. Look, pod. You are sitting in the pilot seat of the escape pod, facing toward the window. There is a dark console before you, and seatbelt straps at your side. Confused as to what you should do, you wish you would have paid more attention during crew orientation. Well, look, oh... <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, but I had to sleep. I hadn't gotten my 14 hours at that point. It just so happened that that was a convenient place and time to do it. Also, I'll point out that uh, my helmet is rigged, ribbed for her pleasure. And when we come back, we'll see how badly we can screw up escaping from the Arcada. See you next time, everyone.